Hi, this is John Hammond with iBike, and today I'm going to show you some of the features of our iBike Isaac software. iBike Isaac works both with Mac and PC. Today I'm using the Mac version, but the Windows version has identical appearance and functionality, so either will work just fine with this video. Let's start with the menu items themselves. Up in the left corner you'll see the name of the software, and to the right of it are various menu actions that you can take. One of the most important menus in Isaac is the help menu because here you can find things like help documents, videos, a place to contact technical support, and also even checking online for software update for the software itself. Beneath the menus are icons. Here's an icon that allows you to open a ride file that you've already stored, save the ride file that's on your screen right now, rename the ride file, see if your iBike Newton is connected to your computer, download a ride, and power stroke. By the way, you'll notice that the download button is grayed out. That means that right now the Newton is not connected to the software. And you'll notice that the power stroke icon has a solid color. That means that this ride file has power stroke information contained inside of it. Over on the right side you'll see options that will allow you to show and change your viewing. For example, this is a smoothing filter that allows you to change the amount of smoothing. The more smoothing you do, the more level the power looks, but the less you're able to see detail for your sprints. We normally leave it on five seconds. Here you can select between English and metric units. And here you can select between displaying your ride file versus time or, if you prefer, you can select Distance. <clears throat> when you first open a ride file, you'll see the entire ride. But if you'd like to see it in small segments, just choose the size you would like to see. And now you'll see that your ride file is, extends out into time. If you want to see what happens later in the ride, simply take the progress bar at the bottom and slide it across, and your entire ride file will be revealed. Let's set this back to the entire ride. To the left of the graphs themselves is information about the ride. When the entire ride is selected, you'll see the stats for the complete ride. This ride was 15.8 miles long, took about 55 minutes, 500 calories burned, and so on. You'll see minimum, average, and maximum values of power, the aerodynamic component of power, rolling resistance power, gravitational power, bicycle speed, wind speed, elevation, and slope. So there's a lot of information in this left window. Notice that if I highlight a portion of the window, for example, the interval over here at about mile 11, if I highlight that portion strictly, I'll see over in the window <clears throat> just the statistics for that selection. This was a short interval, about 53 seconds, higher power, and so on. So that's a nice way to get information about the ride. And in fact, over here, to the left of the graph, you see a whole bunch of places where there are individual laps uh, used. In this particular case, the rider was using the left arrow of his Newton to highlight laps and to pick out selections. So this is obviously an interval workout, and you can see here the intervals that the rider was doing. Here, for example, is an interval of 340 watts that was uh, 30 seconds long. So, with this information you, can, you get all of the basics of the Newton. 